All right, welcome to Kratos BI. Today we're going to show you how you can crush bad data in your organization, all right? There's nothing more important when it comes to working with data than working with good, high quality data. And ensuring that you've got your data is right and validated is a tricky thing to do. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this at scale and mass to ensure you got the highest quality data that you and your teams are working with. All right, I can't wait to show it to you. Okay, do the whole YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends and family. And if you want early access to this content for as little as $5 a month, you can become a member and get access to this before anyone else. All right, what are we talking cr about crushing bad data? All right. now. Straight up, you ha there are hundreds, if not thousands of videos out there about data visualizations. Well, I got to tell you, data quality is greater than data viz all of the time. If you've got bad data and people don't trust your data, it doesn't matter how slick or nice your data looks. If it's garbage, your report's garbage, okay? So we got to get our attention on to quality data, all right? Now, how are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna be focusing this on counts and amounts inside of our data space. I've talked about this many times in the past. I still think this is the number one way that we should be thinking about and working with data. What does that mean? Anytime we're doing a data validation, we always want to do it by a count of something, i.e. how many there are, and the aggregate of a numerical value that relates to it that we could tie back to a known business value. All right, well, I'm, and I'm about to jump in and I'm gonna show you what I mean by this, all right? So let me pull over, come on. Let me go into, the, here we are in Fabric, all right? In Fabric, I'm connected to my uh, bronze lake house as well as my a silver warehouse, okay? So I'm gonna be writing a query in a SQL notebook that queries between these environments, all right? So I'm connected to both, I'm gonna write these queries. First thing I'm do, gonna do is I'm gonna be querying my bronze uh, workspace or my bronze layer to get my counts and amounts. Oopsies. I'm gonna be going to get my count and that's gonna be some count or I'm sorry, count star as count and sum an amount from my bronze fact table, okay? That's gonna give me the number of records that I have as well as a, an aggregate value that um, uh, I can track to and I can balance from the source system. I'm also gonna do, once I've done that, I'm gonna compare that value to the value of my silver layer to make sure that these things are in sync. The reason I want to make sure I have more than just a record count is it's entirely possible to get the right number of records, but to have duplicated the dollar amount, you know, one same dollar amount, however many times, or to have zero dollars bleeding through, right? Or sort of zero of an amount come through, right? Just null or something along those lines, okay? So at a minimum, you want to make sure you've got a count and a amount that you balance out, okay? So I've got my query here that, that queries my bronze layer. I'm going to run that exact same query on my, uh, on my silver layer, and I'm then going to compare those against each other. And if I look, can I zoom in and, and show this to you at all? Yes. I could see, I could see right here, uh, 197.045, 197.045. And I could see that my amount, that uh, 6793, 6793, okay? These are tying out, I'm balancing out, I'm a very happy camper, okay? So this is an example of like our counts and amounts that we do, okay? That is not all we're gonna do when it comes to this validation, okay? Because while that's nice, we also wanna make sure that we're, we're, we're validating our dimensional breakout or our cardinality, okay? So let's hop over and let's actually check that out too, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing a group by and an order by 
on a dimensional value. So inside here, let's zoom in again. I've got that exact same count and the exact same amount, but I'm gonna be breaking it out by uh, the account key that's on that fact table, okay? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna evaluate those. I've grouped by order by the same values. And now I wanna go in and I wanna make sure that my cardinality is matching out. So I can see my four, first value here, right? That four, 1380, Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create that exact same query just at my silver layer. And I'm gonna like hone in and I'm gonna see what do I got Oh, that's interesting. I wonder how I got that. I got four, 13, 80, 733. I wonder how I got that spotlight thing. That was cool. <laughs> I can't re re recreate it. That's funny. All right. So this is good. Yay. Counts and amounts. But I could eyeball these and I could know they're right. But, you know, that's, that's kind of insufficient, right? Um, especially when I'm talking about all these different amounts, right? Like I, I need to do more than just eyeball one or two records. That's where we're gonna get into the use of the accept uh, SQL statement, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that exact same bronze query that we had, that we wrote. We're gonna take that, we're gonna put accept in the middle, and then we're gonna put in that silver layer query that we wrote after that, okay? So what accept is gonna do is it's gonna take that set of information that we got from the bronze layer, and it's going to say, okay, match up everything in the silver layer and only show me bronze records where those records don't exist inside of the silver layer, okay? So notice I did have to remove that order by uh, from the expression, uh, the accept, expression doesn't allow you to have that order by it does it anyways. So it kind of doesn't matter, but that, that is what it is. Okay. So when I run this, I'm going to get, I'm going to see what results I have that, uh, that, uh, you know, what records do I have in bronze that are not in my, uh, a uh, gold layer. Oh, wow. This ran in like a heartbeat before and I hit rerun and oh, now, I've got nothing. Hey, yay. My data is validated, tied out, and broke out by dimensions. I'm all done, right? Right? <sighs> Maybe not. Maybe I'm not done yet. Because what is this? This, tell, this is only telling me if there's records in bronze that are not in silver. This is not telling me if there's any silver records that are not in bronze. So uh, in order to like do that, we kind of have to actually, uh, well, we have to do some other things, but ah, skipping ahead. Um, first things first, uh, we're actually gonna make sure not just that the dimensional breakout occurs uh, from the, uh, from, from the fact table, right? So we got the fact table, we were, we were, you know, we were validating that, but we're also going to uh, go in and look at that dimensional value to make sure that there's an actual, uh, uh, there, there is a join that things are coming back and we're not missing anything, i.e. we don't want there to be records in the fact table that are not appropriately joining into the dimensional table. It's a little weird if you're a, like a SQL guy, you're like, how can that ever happen? Well, I got bad news for you. Keys are not enforced in lake houses and warehouses. Uh, it's just a thing that's just because of the architecture, they, they're not enforced. So you have to do this check um, uh, to make sure that these things are tying and balancing out, okay? So we're gonna first, we're gonna test that component out uh, to make sure that the dimensions are all populated and you know, we're going to keep that except in place to make sure that we don't have any records here that, uh, uh, that are like not showing up in the dimension above and showing up in the dimension below. And we don't have that. So yay, everything's good. Now, now let's build upon that and say, okay, we know there are no 
There are absolutely no records in bronze that are not in silver. That's 100% clear. We've got that in place. What we need to do here is we also need to make sure that uh, we have to put in a union statement. So we subtract, uh, we go the other way. We say, okay, where the silver, uh, you know, you know, show me the silver values where there's nothing in bronze, i.e., is there a record in your silver layer that doesn't exist from the bronze side, okay? Now, one thing that I really, really like to do uh, is make sure that when I uh, do this uh, query here, these results can be misleading when you get back because I'm going to union these together to see if I have any issues. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add in a column here to like tell me what this is. So I'm going to do a carriage return. I'm going to say comma. I'm going to like hard code what this is as test type. And this is going to be uh, silver not in bronze. I'm going to make sure, and this is very important because your, your accept and your union statements have to ex produce the exact same columns with the exact same file formats. Okay. It's very important. Otherwise you'll see all sorts of uh, issues. Okay. And so on top, I'm going to say bronze, not in silver, silver, ah, silver. And I'm going to put this in on top as well. All right. And now I'm going to run this. Okay. So what this is going to do is it's going to put, produce a list of all the records that are in bronze, not in silver and in silver, not in bronze. And I'm going to have one concrete, concrete list of those values. And in my warehouse here, Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Ah, yes, everything good. <laughs> everything looks good here. Um, now, this is just, you know, some of your first steps when it comes to, like, reporting and testing on this. This is a great query to stick in as, like, a validation view so that you can have in your warehouse. Um uh, I like to have one of these on every one of my dimensions so that I could just easily go in and see where I've got issues or whatnot. Um, I know a lot of people will take th this and, uh, you know, maybe, you know, you, maybe the views are sufficient. I know other people will write these records into like a log file or a validation file. So you can kind of track it over time and you can trigger this to run at the end of your loads and whatnot. So you can you can see when and where you have discrepancies or not, and you can uh, just kind of keep your eye on that, okay? Um, uh, you know, being on top of your data validation, being on top of the quality and knowing that things are right or knowing they're wrong before your users get them can be really helpful in ensuring that, you know, everyone has good solid confidence in your data and they know that the data they're using can be trusted and believed. All right. Data validation is so critical. We don't talk about it enough. I hope this makes sense to you. If it doesn't, leave some comments down below. Let me know what questions you've got about data validation, how you can build that into your processes, uh, and how you can get a real holistic view of the quality of your data. All right. If you found this useful, you know, leave the comments, like, share, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. You know, I, I mentioned that before. Um, also, if you want early access to the content, I do have memberships. I mean, they start off at five dollars uh, a month. You can you can start there. You can go up there. We go up to twenty five dollars a month. Uh, I got to figure out something. Producer credits at the twenty five dollars a month level. Uh, but anything you do, anything you give, would be great. Appreciate it. You guys are the best. Have the best day ever. Peace. All right, this stuff is hard, I get it. If you need help, especially on this, head over bakertilly.com slash digital, click on I need some help with data. There's like a, a form, fill it out, ask for some help. 
we have this amazing accelerator called Data Check that does all sorts of data validations across your ecosystem. We'd love to help you get that installed and running in your organization. But if you think you can do this, and I know you can, check out this video or this video. Ha <laughs> ha.